Hello. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I've got something for you here. What in the hell? I need you to guess. What is it? Oh, fuck. It's a six cylinder, I'll tell you that. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's no, long no, and skinny. It's, it's long and skinny. <laughs> yeah, long and skinny, yeah. Uh, look, it's, it's got a square rocker cover. Huh? Okay. Um, Jeez, it could be anything. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I'm going to reveal the... Okay, okay. The, go. Are you ready? You yeah. underpants? Yeah. Oh, hang Did on. give you a hint? Oh, there's uh, a Ford uh, symbol. Uh, 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 yep. You got more? Okay. Alright, ready? Yeah, let's have a look. Uh, barrel of the world! <laughs> it's a barrel. You keep asking me for a barrel? We're going to do one. Here it is. But not normal. No, we're not going to do a normal engine. What are we going to do? This, we're going to go berserk on it. So this is going to be part one. We're going to do step by step. So we're going to strip it today. And we're going to put H-beam rods, uh, a beautiful forged piston in it, billet gears, chains, bearings, studs, springs, valves, everything. And this motor's got ratchet on top of it too, huh? Look at that. It's been sitting for a while. Yeah. Look at the poo. <laughs> Let's pull it down. This is, so we'll start, we'll strip it down anyway, so. I do, we're going to take the sensor gaskets off first, obviously. Okay, we've got that one. Now, a little screwdriver, and we're going to push out those um, little clip. Oh, stuck. That's how it's meant to come off. Yep. Oh, that's broken. Look at that. I wonder how long that's been broken for. Hmm, interesting. Another one. Hmm. That's uh, not good, is it? No. Yeah, right. I wonder if he knew. Probably not. Nah, probably not. Huh? Huh. Put this up. Let's have a look. Sticky bacon. Have you sit under here before? No. Okay. Nah. Well, we built one. The head. Done a head, yeah. Yeah, but you haven't seen the chain and all that, have you? No. Yeah, so this is going to be good. Okay. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Look at that. Yeah, so what we've got here. Roll chain, brilliant. Brilliant idea. I like that. And for Morse chain, like the, the Commodore's got, they jump easy. Hmm. Remember the alloy tech? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The chains? These don't jump as quick, but they do, they do jump on the. Uh, on what it looks like. A bit damaged. Is that damaged? Yeah, lack of service. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's here for us to build. I'm going to start by taking the timer cover. These things you've got to take, to take the head off, you've got to take the timer cover off, to take the chain kit off, to take the head off. <laughs> so okay. we'll start with the cover. <laughs> okay, cover off. There we go. What have we got here? Dirty, dirty. It's not that bad. The chain's actually not stretched too much. See the, see the tension's not that popped out mm. compared to other ones that I see. So. Oh, we're not even going to time it. I'm not wasting my time there, anyway. It's getting a full build. Yeah, of course it is. But, um, pretty interesting. That is where your sensor goes and it tells you where your timing is for your injection. Crank, uh, crank your trigger. Yeah, exactly. Crank trigger. That's what that is. So we're going to get an 8 mil. Mm. What are I do now? Let me crack these off. These are actually your cam caps. Okay. Cam caps. I'm trying to cheat here with that arm. Um, I'll see if I can get it off. Without pulling the chain off. Without pulling the, the rest of the chain off. I've, I've got to pull it off anyway, so you might as well. Ah. 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 I'll just rip the chain off, it doesn't matter. Okay, there you cam cap. See your cam caps under there? Yep. Which is pretty pretty cool, it's pretty neat like that. 
and you can't you can't buy another head. So so you broke this and you need another cam cap. You can't buy another head from the wreckers and just put this on that another head. They're actually individually bought with the head when they do one from the factory. Oh right. So you can't if you're gonna buy a cylinder head, you're gonna get it with the caps, the original caps you can otherwise the head's useless. Camshaft out. In. Is it been or new, getting new cams? Um, I haven't decided yet. What I'm going to do there. We're probably going to get a, a special grind for them. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm going to work out how much horsepower we're going to do on this. So, the more the better. <laughs> Check this out. Someone has pulled it apart. It's in there. Oh, look at this. Do you remember I put all the bolts and put them all in front of you? Yeah. Huh. Oh. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Got it, You're sitting in there. Yeah. Found that in the bottom there, so... Oh. That's weird, isn't it? What are we going to do with these? Bin. Bin. Bin them! Okay, next. Let's see if we get that. That's it, the head's off. Factory. Check it out. Head gasket. Middle one from Middle factory. Middle one. And look, it's not even blind. But it's come apart, It's huh? just come apart with the... Yeah. No, no problem. It's all. No problem. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I've got, you can see it got really hot at one stage because you can see on the bottom of the ball, on the other side, you can have a look. The bottom of the ball's got like a little wave in it. Oh, yeah, oh, God. I don't know if that camera yeah. can see. I don't think it's going to bother it. I don't care. We're going to. I'm going to do the motor anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to put these in there. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. Ah! How quick do they come apart, huh? It's a lot easier to do ah! <laughs> ah! You don't want to know how many Falcon motors I have done. It is sickening amount. <laughs> Just motors in general. Oh, the fat ah. ah. You know what that is? Uh, pick up? Ah. Yep. Ah. Are they? Ah. Ah. Oh. That didn't need to come out. They got gaskets on these to seal because there's all obviously there's all pressure the washer. Yep. Uh, it's like the LS, you know, we're gonna we're gonna seal them up after ah. we do the job, you know? Yeah. Ah. But on the front one you only got the one. Ah. Big you ready? Yeah. Uh oh. Huh? A bit what? milky. Ah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> ah. What's on the pickup? Ah. Um, Maybe the. Ah, you know, we're gonna find. We're gonna find with those arms. Um, Something's broken off in there. Yeah. It's a metal gone. I don't know if it's metal. It's plasticky. It's plastic. Probably, probably the rail. Ah. Yeah, right. We're not gonna use these. In. But I'm gonna keep them because I need. I need to use it to hone the motor later. So I'll put them here for now. That, we're going to use something different. Obviously, look at the main caps. Look how beautiful that is. You like that? Okay. Four bolt moves. It's trying to copy the LS. Crank it, right? Three main shield. The same as a 4.1 XF. Really? How, how, um, 
<laughs> That's in the 90s, man. Exactly yeah. the same. No difference, huh? Why make something new when you can use the old one? Yes, it actually worked really good. Yeah. And this didn't leak anyway, so yeah, it's good. Bin. Now this is the oil pump we're gonna do. The only thing we're gonna keep out of this is just the housing on it. The rest of it, it's gonna go in the bin. We're gonna take the guts out of it. Yep. I'm gonna put a billet gears in it. I'm gonna put a billet plate on the back of it. Okay. And the new bolts, obviously. Exactly what they do to our bees. Yeah, yes. Well, that's shattered. The, the, the matter of that material called sintered, sintered, which is powder. They yeah. squash it, yeah. then they put it in the oven. Oh, yeah. So, we're, we're going to replace this and the gears inside here. We're going to put uh, steel, steel forged um, Forge gears. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, we'll keep that. Now, there's not much to it, is there? It's yeah, pretty simple. <laughs> that is it. Uh, uh, well. More work. Half an engine is on the head. Do they have oil squirters? Hmm? Do they have oil squirters? No. No, okay. No, how good would that have been? Still, still, still pathetic for them. Not to put a thrust on that there. Do you reckon? Yep. Yeah, okay. They don't do that. Um, I will be doing that. You will be? I will be doing that. I'll be putting a thrust bearing on it. Okay. They did that to save money. They, the early ones had it. Not, not, in the, not in this version of an engine. The early motors had it, but they decided not to do that on this. You work it out, Sam. If you're gonna, you go to a company, how can we get the bearings cheaper? Well, they've removed the part. Yes. So we've got the thrust there. Yeah, so they only put half a thrust in it. That's yeah. enough to do the job on that. Yeah. Brass plugs, why don't we put brass in the factory? Cheaper to put, um. You work it out. Say, say okay. a steel plug is worth, so let's go example, 18 cents for a plug, mm. compared to $2.80 for a brass one. And there's 10 of them on the engine. So what have we done? Save heaps. <laughs> and then you sold a million of them. Yeah, it adds up. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. $30 million all of a sudden have saved money on. Production costs. Yeah, production, that's it. Next step, we're gonna pull the, the rod caps off it. Now, I think you've seen this before. We're doing this. Uh, we'll cut to the. I think we're going to cut it, leave it at that. Product. Yeah, we don't need to drag it on anymore. Looks good. So yeah. we're, on the and we're not going to use the con rods either. Or billet. We're going to put a proper con rod in it. Yes. Sounds good. Yeah. And um, yeah, uh, uh, this is the barra. Easy, nothing to it, is it? Pretty simple. Yep, <laughs> nothing in it, man. So, see you soon. Done. Take it easy.